Hey there, everybody. So I wanted to know if I could etch onto a piece of plain old steel. And everything I looked up seemed like, oh, you have to have some special coating on it. You gotta have a spray, titanium oxide. And I was like, well, I got this piece of round stock. And so I'm just gonna test it out and see if I can actually etch on it and it's permanent. All right, so here's my piece of plain old steel. And so I'm just gonna check and see if it will etch right on there. This is an aluminum plate that I've got here. And so I'm just gonna see if I can etch right on this thing. All right, so this is what I'm gonna etch on to that round blank. And these are the settings that I'm gonna try out first. I've got it as a fill and I've got it as a 6,000 millimeters per second and 80% power. I have a Falcon 22 watt laser engraver. And so I'm just gonna check it out. I'm really enjoying this laser engraver. I've not done anything like this before, and so this is a whole new experience for me. And I gotta say that this was a success. I like being able to do the vector, so I'm gonna try something else here, and I'll show you how this turns out here in a second. But this thing's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. It's so much fun, and I'm just thinking of all the possibilities. All right, so I tried to etch a picture of my dog on here. So that's what it looked like, and that's what it came out as. So I think I'm gonna have to play around with some stuff, see if I can't get something a little better. It has some, you can kind of see detail around here in this fur. You can kind of see detail around here on her nose, but then everything else kind of looks black. We'll try again another time. All right, here it is on a shined up, kind of flat piece of metal. So we'll see how it turns out. I can already see it showing up. And on the other side, it's got a little more mill scale on it. And so we'll see how that turns out. All right, so here it is. It wasn't perfectly clean. And so you can kind of see this right here, how it looks. And you can kind of see here at the top where Maybe there was some stuff on it. And so now I'm gonna try on this backside where it's obviously not been really cleaned. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, so there it is with dirty steel. that is not cleaned or anything. Can't really see, how, see some of the letters. So I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna work. I think you definitely have to hit your Steel with a grinder if you're wanting it to etch onto it with any kind of cleanness or sharpness. So this side had this side I would say is pretty successful for what I'm wanting to do but right here you can see I left a little bit and it didn't etch on real well. But this backside definitely needs to be hit with a grinder cleaned up in order for everything to show up appropriately so i think it's really cool i'm glad that all i have to do is hit it with a grinder i don't have to paint it with anything i don't have to spray it with anything and so i'm really happy about that and moving forward i'm gonna make some pretty fun projects thanks for watching i hope you found this useful